is happening folks it's jimmy g in the place to be bringing you a special saturday night special sunday morning this is probably posting at midnight uh on sunday uh of the good the bad the awesome where we talk about all things pop culture mainly star wars transformers mcfarland figures anime sprinkled in with everything else including going to conventions and stuff like that so if this is your first time here if you're wide awake and you're watching this go ahead hit that like subscribe button so that way you can get notified of all the cool stuff that we do uh and if you've been here before thank you so much and so tonight today this morning whatever time you're watching this we are going to look at a two-pack from mcfarland that's both from the dc universe and the spawn universe and so what might that be let's take a look and here is what we have folks we take the best of both worlds you take the good you take the bad you take them both and there you have batman and spawn batman and spawn so this is the mcfarland dc multiverse batman and spawn that we're going to be looking at now this one right here is the autograph series that was released not too long ago so limited to 1500 pieces and you can kind of see back there you can see todd the todd father's autograph but we are not gonna open this one. As a matter of fact, this is just a sneak preview of one of the things we'll be giving away at the thousand mark, the thousand giveaway mark. And so, uh, yeah, this is the one we're gonna open up. <clears throat> the non-autographed one. That's what we're gonna take a look at. The one that no one else wants. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but overall, I think this looks awesome. Now, I only have one other spawn figure right now, and that's the ninja spawn. And so this original Spawn figure looks pretty wicked. And then we got Batman with his mouth open. Some people don't like him, some people do. I think he looks kind of cool. I think even though I know this is Spawn Sword, I think it would look good in Batman's hands. How about y'all? Uh, but this is the package. This is the front, the side, the back. Look at that artwork, so amazing. And then that side right there. But he doesn't want to stay in the box. He wants to come out of the box. So Batman and Spawn spawn out of the box here they are on my table Batman and spawn Batman sounds real gruff spawn sounds like Keith David who sounds like Dr. Facilier who sounds like the Arbiter, who sounds like Keith David, who sounds like Spawn. But here they are on my desk, on my workshop, both of them standing side by side. Uh, and you get quite a few things with them. So of course you get the obligatory stands, and I like this one with the Spawn, and then of course you get the DC one. You got the two cards with the artwork on it, which is really cool. There's the Batman one. If you don't know who Batman is, I don't know where you've been, but we all know he is the Dark Knight and he is a billionaire with lots of money and knows karate and kung fu and jujitsu and judo and all that stuff. And Spawn, if you don't know who he is, uh, basically he's the Spawn of Hell. Uh, and so he uh, makes a deal with the, a demon and basically to see his wife, finds out his wife moved on and then finds out that he has a purpose in life, but he has to realize that he must fight to survive both heaven and hell. But there's Spawn right there. Uh, so uh, if you were like me and grew up in a home that couldn't watch Spawn, uh, that's it. But uh, here he is. And I think they both look phenomenal now todd mcfarlane has drawn each one of them before and of course todd uh of course spawn is uh todd mcfarlane's baby and then you got this friggin sword right here now that is awesome now spawn can hold it but i don't know i might have batman hold that that'd be cool batman with a sword friggin amazing you also get two more Batman hands right here. You get a Batarang, uh, which is pretty cool. Different kind of Batarang. You also get this stand, uh, which is cool because it has, there's this artwork right here that has either the Batman and Spawn picture or a cool like evil skeleton background that you can kind of put this, uh, let me see if I can get it in there. Yeah, just like that. Uh, so you have a good backdrop for your stuff. 
So that's kind of cool. So you can have it either way if you want it with Batman and Spawn showing or uh, the skeleton backdrop. We're gonna stick that kind of in the background right now. And then you get the two main events. You get Spawn themselves and Batman himself. And if you've ever had any articulation with any McFarlane figures, they have 22 points of articulation. So you kind of know how it goes uh, on that. Uh, but what we'll do is I won't articulate Batman. We'll just articulate Spawn, but we'll bring Batman in for a closer look. Let's go ahead and bring this camera up. There we go. And look at that face. A lot of people kind of don't like that face. They wish his mouth was closed. And I know a lot of people are, are modding it to make his mouth closed. I think it looks cool. I think he looks mean. He looks evil. Uh, he looks like he's ready to do business against Spawn. And there is a Batman versus Spawn comic that's out that uh, that's pretty cool that... Um, <laughs> spoilers thousand giveaway it's going to be going along with that other uh autograph batman spawn two pack so um but there is that right there uh and then of course the black and the yellow one of my favorite looks for the suit uh very very cool my dog's being a butthead and he's barking at the cats so i'm having to pause this video every now and then see look at him barking at the kitty cats hey again stop barking at the cats uh so <laughs> So again, the black and yellow suit, the yellow utility belt, I think looks really great. Now, some of the things that's gonna get in the way of articulation of this is the big cape, the big plastic cape. It's a soft plastic, uh, it's already shaped, so that's gonna get in the way of uh, kind of some of that articulation. But if we look at it from a side view, you can kind of see him there. Uh, I think he looks pretty, pretty cool. I'm Batman, hey, look at me, I'm Batman. I am the terror that flies in the night. No, that's Darkwing Duck. Uh, but uh, there's the back of him. And let's look, bite bat butt. Uh, and of course his underwear kind of gets in the way of him doing the full splits. Uh, but yeah, 22 points of articulation. You can pop the hands off and things like that. I love the pointy cape right there. That's kind of cool too as well. I mean, he's supposed to look kind of, I mean, more mean if he's going to be fighting spawn right he's got he's got to look more intimidating uh because spawn's intimidating himself so let's put batman aside and let's bring in the main event good old spawn himself and uh we'll bring in some more illumination but you can see the green eyes those are so cool the cape uh the way it's kind of like wisping i don't know if it's supposed to be that way but maybe uh but uh it's just looks low wind whipped uh this looks awesome very very cool i love the overall black and white aesthetic with the maroonish color um so you have again the articulation in the head but you're not going to get a lot articulation in the arm out way out and things like that because of the cape the cape gets in the way uh but you still have the rotation and the ab crunch and things like that but man look at look at the belt there that kind of the the it, this is just cool like i said my second spawn figure and i'm in love i think this looks great i love this right here that's so cool the the cool spiky boot uh little spiky boot big spiky boot so this one was stung by a bee where this one was not uh but uh just overall very nice there's spawn butt right there and you can kind of see they paid attention to some detail when you look in there you can kind of see the spikes too as well continuing uh and then that cape just has that weathered kind of look and that feel that a spawn should look but this looks very very amazing very cool um so but yeah uh like the arm that's as high as you're gonna get it right there right there and as far back as you're gonna go is right there uh so you're not gonna get a lot of uh movement in in the arms and then the legs again you're gonna get some kicking up uh, just about that much right there uh, before things start getting in the way. Uh, and you do have the knee with the double jointed knee on that. Uh, and then the foot does have the normal McFarland foot stuff and the ankle sp spin and stuff like that too as well. Uh, so you can get them in some cool poses, but you are going to be very limited on those poses. Uh, so we'll get to kind of put this sword in his hand here. Maybe that's where that's supposed to go. Sword hand. Get in there. There it is. So that looks so cool. So cool. Very, very cool. I love it. I love it. Uh, so just the minor quibbles on this is, again, the, the capes aren't forgiving. Uh, it'd be cool if they were like cloth capes that you can pose yourself. Uh, but, uh, but the overall detail, I mean, he just looks, he looks pretty bad, doesn't he? 
He looks pretty cool. He looks like he's up to do business. And you get a Batman too, right? Who knew? Batman and McFarlane. Who knew you'd get a Batman, right? But you do. Uh, so that is they. And so let's do this. Let's get him and get them both compared to some other figures so you can see how they look. And here's the Batman family, the one, the Batmans that I do have. Uh, of course, the Spawn Batman's right there. We got Keaton Batman right there that came with the Batmobile, 89 Batmobile. We got the five inch Batman uh, for the superhero, superhero Kenner superpowers. Nightfall Batman, Two-Face Batman right there. So oh, my menagerie of Batman, and this is not all my Batman. I got more Batman, and I got more Batman in the boxes. So Batman in boxes are gonna be awesome, uh, but you know, who knew, again, uh, McFarlane and Batman, there's a love affair. Uh, but I also got the six pack of all the Batman. So I can't wait to open that one too as well. But there they are. That's how they look together. Uh, I think, you know, again, I mean, the face, I mean, it's not my favorite face, but I think it's okay. Uh, my favorite face, of course, is going to be this one or this one. But overall, this is how he compares to other Batman. Uh, so he stands about the same. Uh, the height is a little bit more because these ears are a bit more pointy than some of the others. Look at it. Look at him. There we go. And let me move here out of the way so you can kind of get a better look at all the suits there. You can kind of see them. Very, very cool. And so which one do you like better of the four? Uh, my Night, Nightfall and Keaton are going to be my favorite so far on this. Uh, but, uh, but again, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Sound like droopy dog. Not bad at all. So let's bring in the spawns. Send in the spawns. So like I said, I only have one other spawn figure open right now, but you know, I do have more spawn figures. So you get ready. You're going to see more spawn stuff from Jimmy G. Uh, but this is the ninja spawn right here. And of course we have, uh, this spawn right here the spawn versus batman so you can kind of take a look at those side by side i mean same general color scheme and things like that uh and the same green eyes and just kind of the same kind of body paint i think that looks cool and also for scale we got little little godzilla right there too as well so um again love me some spawn i i can't wait uh for there's a kickstarter that mcfarland's going to be doing for a medieval spawn that i can't wait to back that yeah i think that'll be pretty cool uh but there they are, both of them uh, there. And then uh, four, uh, since I don't have any other spawns, let's bring in Bludgeon. Bludgeon, you come on in. You just kind of be there as a buddy too as well. There you go. So you can kind of see them all together. Uh, Bludgeon would, I think Bludgeon would fit in in the spawn universe. What do y'all think? I think he would s just fit in perfect. I think it'd be awesome. Uh, so let's do this. Let's get back together for my final thoughts. And after the video, you'll see these guys posed in different ways. And so Higgins, stop bugging the cats. Uh, so uh, let's get back together for that. Welcome back. And so let's give you my final thoughts on the Spawn Batman two pack from McFarlane Toys. And so let's bring in both figures here. I'm going to bring in the Batman. Batman, I am the terror that flies in the night. No, that's Darkwing Duck. Quit saying that. And then Spawn. There they are, both of them. Both of these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful figures. Um, again, like McFarlane figures, they have 22 points of articulation. However, the capes get in the way of the articulation on these guys. So that I'm going to knock off some points for that because you can't really get them into cool, cool, cool poses because the capes kind of get in the way. But other than that, very cool. Now the Batman, I don't know, let's get him focused in here. I don't know. Oh, come on. Whoop, there we go. The Batman face, it's not my favorite, but I still think it's great. But the suit makes up for that, that black and gold is very cool very striper bl yellow black attack right uh to hell with the devil that is him right there so uh but very very cool love the suit does have the battering has the switchable hands the weird hands I, I don't like those that much i like the hands that i have on him right now uh and then spawn of course doesn't have any hands but uh well he has hands but this is him. He has a big sword. And the cool thing is, is that sword works with Batman. And I thought about just keeping that sword on Batman because that would be awesome. Uh, but the sword does work with Batman. So there is Spawn. I love this figure. This figure looks amazing. Like I said, this is my second Spawn figure. Definitely not my last. And I think the original looking Spawn figures looks great. If you haven't read the Spawn in Batman comic book 
I encourage you to pick it up. You will definitely, definitely enjoy it. Um, of the two figures, which one is my favorite? I am going to have to give the nod to Spawn. Spawn here takes the cake for me. I think he looks great. He's what kind of sets this this uh, this two pack over the top. Uh, Batman's cool and all, but this right here looks 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 really really cool. So on a scale, good, bad, awesome. Batman. You're you're pretty good. I mean, you're 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 more than good. Pretty awesome. You're okay. And then Spawn, you are hellishly awesome. And so that makes the total score pretty awesome for these two packs. So if you want to get them, go ahead and get them. Pick them up. I think they're like 50 bucks. You might be able to start finding them on clearance because I know he didn't sell very well. Uh, but you can still pick on a, pick up on McFarland Toy Store the uh, autograph version. They still have some of those in stock. But again, if you don't want to pay for it, when we get to that thousand subscriber mark, that's going to be one of the giveaways is one of those autographed Todd McFarlane Batman spawn packs. And so just prepare yourself along with other stuff like Super Mario autograph stuff and Transformer autograph stuff and all sorts of stuff. It's going to just be stuff. Uh, so it's going to be a celebration, but I love this two pack. I think it's great. And so tune in next time, which will probably be Monday when we talk about something else. Amazing, great, stupendous, awesome. We haven't talked about Star Wars in a while, so we're probably going to visit a galaxy far, far away. But y'all remember to stay young, have fun and be awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye.